what is happening beautiful people you already know who it is you know what time it is man i didn't got me some guys i couldn't take it no more i had to get me something as the title implies i didn't went and got me a bass boat this is my first bass boat ever and i i feel like it is a great starter boat i could not beat the deal that i got on this boat so i just had to go ahead and get it you know what i'm saying i had to go ahead and get this boat for real i couldn't procrastinate no longer with getting a bass boat so i'm gonna just explain uh you know we got a few things on here um this is a 1990 ranger 396 v um it is 19 feet long i think the beam is like 96 inches wide on it i believe it is powered by a 1996 johnson v6 3.0 finger port motor it's been fully rebuilt in 2015 um and i mean I, i've been out one time i ain't gonna lie i'm sorry i couldn't bring you guys with me but i've been out one time with it when i was going to purchase it and and, and she she haul she haul i got her up to like 60 miles an hour so it's it's way too fast i really don't need to go that fast but i can if i want to you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> i'm gonna just go over the boat give you guys a full walkthrough everything on the boat i hope you guys are enjoying this content if so leave me a thumbs up if it's your first time seeing any of my content go ahead smash that subscribe button also hit the little bell notification so you'll be notified anytime i post something fishing related and with that being said let's get into the boat man all right guys we are gonna start at the steering wheel of this boat it's a steering wheel you know what i'm saying it's got ranger boats right there in the center of it so this is a steering wheel this is how you you know control the whip right here you know what i'm saying all of these gauges work so this is my temperature rpm i even got man look at that a radio i think it worked it works too look look just look look at that bam Thursday, extra special for her. We have a All right, I gotta cut that off. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Then you got your speedometer that actually works. Your tilt of your the tilt of your uh, whole boat is right here, so it tells you when you're balanced or you're not balanced. You're off balance, and of course, one of the more important things, the fuel gauge actually works. Got two uh, two gas tanks on here. You got a port gas tank. You got a starboard gas tank. Here's your switch for that right here. See starboard port. So that's your fuel tanks. That's the center console. Your, your master console right there. Even got a compass. Look at that. Isn't that jazzy? So then we move over here to the, uh, to the other side passenger. Got your little glove box here, you know. You can put all your goodies all that good stuff in there, whatever you feel the need to. The guy that I bought the boat from, if you guys know anything about, you know, older Rangers, they have these bench seats right here, here on both sides. They got bench seats. He took those out and he put storage lockers on each side. So this is a rod locker right here that will fit a seven foot rod up under there. So I'm gonna open this compartment up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. He really didn't put the hinge all the way down here. So when you try to open it, it's, it's kind of wobbly right there. And maybe we can put another shock right here up front to make it a nice even pull. Um, he told me he just did that really fast. So, I mean, Nevertheless, it's nothing that we can't fix. And we're gonna take this spot right here. See all that under there? All of that is going to be transformed into more storage because it's just empty space right now. All of that is just empty space. Got two speakers back there, but we're gonna take that out um, and put something right there. So we can have maybe it, the lid pops up like that it just raises up and exposes all the tackle in there i might just cut it in half i was thinking about putting a little 
cooler right here as well. You know what I mean? Just taking these out and extending this deck back to here and putting some coolers in there. And then we have this little dry box here, which has got my, you know, my units in there, rope, life jackets, you know, all safety materials that we need. And then, woo, woo, woo. And get to some butter right here. This is a Minn Kota Altrex right here that we have. And it's um 80 pound thrust, Minn Kota Altrex. I mean, I'm sure all you guys are familiar with this. He put the little sleeve on here to protect the wiring. That's pretty dope, but you know, you know. Also up here, we have some more controls, which is, this is your motor tilt and trim right here. And these are for, for lights, the front lights and the rear lights. So that's pretty, pretty pretty dope guys now we're gonna head to the rear of the boat so right here got you know just a little storage compartment there a little fire hydrant deal a little fire hydrant deal a paddle just in case you get stuck then we got our split live wells you got one live well there, pretty decent size. Other one over here. Then you got another storage box. I also have to replace all of these. I'm going to do something like this with these because it's old and it broke. But that's another dry storage box that has my cover in there. Here's another one. Another dry storage box, which is pretty ample. Let's go back to the, some more meat and potatoes in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to lift it all the way up just because the motor's tilted up. So we've got one, two, three interstate batteries, your bilge pump, two live well pumps. So we can definitely cut those on separately um, if need be, fill one tank, drain one tank, do whatever we want for real. So that is the inside and it's a whole lot cleaner than I've seen uh, some boats, but also got a three bank onboard charger here. Now, let's talk about this bad boy right here. This is a Johnson. V6, 3.0, 200 horsepower Johnson. And it's, it's that's a big engine, man. It's a big engine. It, it gets up on plane without any problem. Got the four blade prop on here with the hydro full. So you know she gets up. And, you know, you guys, if you've seen one inside of one engine, you didn't see them all, you know what I mean? But she clean in there, so... I ain't even tripping. It's been rebuilt. I, I ain't got no issues with it at all. So, yeah. Power trip, power, power tilt and trim. We good over there. Also got brand new straps on here. As you can see. Brand new straps down there. And would you look at the wheels? Look at the wheels on that thing, boy. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I don't even know the size of those. They just they look good. They go with the trailer. Got the fifth wheel on there. Well, not fifth wheel. The third wheel. Just in case you get a flat, you definitely going to need that. You know what I'm saying? So, in here, we have the, uh, the brakes. The brake calipers. Because this is a trailer with surge brakes on here. So, up here at the coupler... You got a mechanism that when you hit the brakes, this thing, this 
pushes back and engages the brakes in the rear. So it's pretty dope, man. It's pretty dope. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody for tuning in and checking out my new boat. Man, this is like a whole new level for me. I can actually go out on big bodies of water, get to where I need to go and not be going like 18 miles an hour. Not that there's nothing wrong with that or standing on the bank or taking a kayak. I still plan on doing all of that great stuff, you know what I mean? Because that's where I started, on the bank. So I'm still going to be putting out bank content, kayaking content, John Boat content, and Big Bass Boat content. If you guys haven't checked it out already, I got a tournament series going on. I think we're on a, like, we just had our fifth tournament today. So next week, I will drop another tournament video. Another tournament video. I've also got some dope stuff coming up. I got some more, man, content that's going to be super dope coming up. I appreciate everybody for rocking with me, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the boat. If you can think of anything that I can do to maybe help me out with that rod locker I want to add in or any tips, tricks, anything, you guys, please leave that down in the comment section. If this video brought any value into your life, go ahead, smash that like button for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel out so much just for the analytics. Um, I mean, and with that being said, man, I, I'm going to see y'all on the water. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set. Let's get it.